What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. It's been a little bit, but I did spend some time shopping in the kids section recently and this time not for clothes, but for shoes. I picked up Uggs Tasman 2 slippers from the kids section. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown as well as a first impression slash review. So if you're not new here, I have shopped the kids section before for clothes. I have honestly shopped for sneakers many a times from the little boys section and I've never really reviewed them on here. Given that Ugg season is upon us, why not try these babies out and compare them to my good old trusty Uggs that I have literally from high school or middle school even um, that are actually from like the adult section and I'll do a little size comparison let you guys know what I think about the quality as well and maybe save you some coin if you're in the market for some new Ugg. So a little bit of a description about the Ugg Tasman 2 slippers from the actual Ugg website. With its thick but super light sole and soft wool lining the Tasman can work as a slipper or a shoe or both. Slip on for school, play dates, camping or just around the house. It's got a suede upper, it has braid detailing, it's got upcycled wool lining as well as an upcycled wool insole, it has a foam footbed, tread light by Ugg outsole for comfort, polyester binding, heat embossed Ugg logo, and while all of that is incredible, the highlights for me are that the kids Tasman sell for $85 Canadian versus the $125 price point for the adult version, and they're still in stock. For now. So right out of the box, here are the Tasman slippers. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love all the detailing on them. And of course, they're super, super comfy and cute. I have had my eye on these babies for a little bit, but I mean, personally, I never stopped wearing Uggs. I was wearing them all throughout the falls and winters when they weren't technically considered revived in the fashion world. Given that I was reaching for them a lot more last fall, I figured why not pick up a cute new pair? But this year, trying to get your hands on an adult version is next to impossible. I even got my boyfriend kind of on the Ugg train and got these for him last Christmas and honestly I was always slipping into these so I figured it was time that I pick up a pair of slippers myself. These Tasman slippers have been all the rage this year. They're so cute, definitely very on trend with all of these Scandinavian fashion trends going around right now. And I just think they're so comfortable. I love any shoes that you can quickly slip on and still look really cute in. The closest I could personally get to a pair of adult version Tasmans this year was just trying on the samples in store. I definitely felt no difference from the kids version. These ones fit the same, they're made the same, they look the same, and quite honestly, the inventory is so much better. So my OG Uggs are in a women's size 7. This is generally the size that I go for in most of my shoes. And when I'm shopping kid sizes, I usually shop a size 6 because that supposedly converts to a size 8, but with thicker socks and all of that kind of stuff, I find that it fits me pretty well. So I picked these babies up in a size 6 kids because I wanted to make sure that my foot would fit all the way in and not be like poking out on the ends. I really, really love these. They're so beautiful. I love the suede. It would definitely be a smart choice to use some sort of suede protector on these given that the fall is very unpredictable especially with its rain in Toronto I absolutely love the silhouette of these and the color of course is simply delicious I picked these in the classic chestnut color because this is a color of Uggs that will never get old for me and not to forget the embroidery just makes these so perfect and utopian for like a cute fall slipper because they just really tie in a lot of the warm elements I think they add kind of like a rustic Scandinavian feel almost to these as well so very on trend for this year's fashion. I feel like there are so many ways that you can style these. You can pair them with some jeans or even some chunky socks and leggings and a cute knit or a jacket. Now obviously my OG pair is very lived in. I honestly think I got these in the eighth grade. Um, so they definitely look a little bit more weathered than the brand new Tasmans, but overall I just wanted to do a quick size comparison for you and just show you what the two look like side by side. I know they're not the same style, but similar enough to get a feel for what the adults versions and kids versions would look like side by side. Obviously, the chestnut color looks very different on the two of them because these ones have literally just come out of the box for the first time, and these have seen everything but their box for a very long time. But you can never go wrong with the chestnut color, like I said, it's just so classic to Ugg. I also think it pairs so beautifully with the bright wool lining on the inside. And then in terms of sizing, like I said, I got these in a size seven. I did get these many, many moons ago, but still, 
Given that these are a kid's size six and these are a woman's size seven, you can tell that comparatively they are very similar in size, which is great news to me. I was a little apprehensive when I picked up the kids Tasmans, mainly because I felt like my foot would just be wedged out of the end. But it's also important to remember that with Uggs, the suede and the wool lining does give with more wear. So I definitely feel like these will be a lot more size friendly as I wear them more and more. Just so you guys can get a feel for what these look like on, these are the Tasmans without socks. To be completely honest, there are many a times that I wear my Uggs without socks. Let me know if you do that too or if I'm just weird, but this is what the back looks like. They definitely fit really well, and like I said, the wool on the inside will give as I wear these more and more, so there's definitely gonna be room for a nice thick pair of socks if needed, but I think these are so cute. If you're in Canada, specifically Toronto, Ontario, like myself, the inventory for these babies in the adult versions is definitely very limited, at least as of late, and I didn't get too lucky finding them at the Ugg stores, nor within their retailers like Little Burgundy or Browns. I picked this pair up from Browns. They do still have some availability, and I'm sure you can find them through other retailers as well. Aside from the more classic chestnut Uggs, I do have a few pairs of knit Uggs that I, again, got way back in middle school, but given that they're all coming back in style, I thought I would do a styling video as well, so if you guys wanna see how I style my Uggs and how I get the most use out of them in the fall slash winter time, let me know in the comments below and I can definitely get that up for you soon. But yeah, this is the Kids Tasman 2 slipper. I'm super, super happy with my purchase. So if you've had your eye on the Ugg Tasman slippers for some time, I definitely recommend checking out the kids sizes. As you can tell, the sizing is very comparable to the adult sizes, especially if you have smaller feet like I do. And the quality is pretty much identical. So why not save yourself some coin and waiting time and get into a new pair of Uggs for a fraction of the price. But that's it for today's video, folks. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully you found this useful if you're in the market for some new Uggies. Let me know in the comments below if you have anything that you'd like to see. Until I see you guys next time, take care, stay happy, and stay safe.